Hey Brick Maniacs, it is Lando here, and today Cody Ocell is joining me with his all new Tiger 2 tank. I'm here. You're yep. here. <laughs> You're here. Here with the tank. Thanks. Thanks for having me back. Yeah. I yeah. know last time it was a little Thank rocky. Thank you. Was it? And the time before that, and then the time before that. I think that's kind of par for I'm, the I'm course glad. here. <laughs> um, <laughs> just a quick note before we get started here. Uh, make sure you can still pick up a copy of this beast right here in stores right now. So it's, it went really quick online. We did a batch of, how many was it? 100. 100. We did 100. Went really quick online, but there are still some available in the stores. So check that out if you haven't gotten out to the store. Anyways, a little bit of history of the Tiger II. Let's get into that. A little that. bit of history. So Tiger II is the su successor to the Tiger I. Go figure. Yeah. Uh, so it kept some of the same design features as the Tiger I being just a thick armor pole. Uh, but the turret is quite a bit different. It's got more sloping to it all the way around, uh, similar to like how the Panther turret is sloped mm. all the way around. So it gives you better armor protection, especially when you're aiming your gun at the enemy, there's more deflection that can happen. Um, kind of makes your armor thicker. Anytime you angle a plate of armor and a direct round is coming in, it's more likely to skip off rather than go straight through. Right. So it, it's, it conserves a little bit of weight um, while having a, a thicker armor sure. because of how angles work. But uh, this is not a light tank by any means. It's about 70 tons. So that's comparable to like the modern day Abrams tank. Wow. So for a tank of that period, that's, that's a very heavy, well-armored tank. They made about 500 of these. Uh, designed in 1943 and then implemented in 1944, 1945. This is a late war color scheme you would have seen maybe in the Battle of the Bulge. Yeah, some nice camouflage going on here. So for my design, um, originally Dan was going to do this. He was just going to kind of bring back his old Tiger too, his old King Tiger that he had, I think it was a couple years ago. I think it was 2017 or 2018 that we made it, that Dan made it. Made a couple batches of that. So I took his original hull design and chassis design and just kind of spun off that updated the wheels so now we have printed wheels on yeah. there as Good opposed close to close up of that Very as opposed nice. to that tan gear that was just flipped inside right so it's a little bit larger diameter wheel uh, nice printing on there uh, the suspension still works similar uh, maybe, well, it's the exact same <laughs> exact same huh? exact same as to how dan's was previously and it rolls really well this is a really slick surface so you got the nice lego it's incredibly right slick there. surface rules super slick um, different camouflage scheme that was kind of the most major update aside from a completely re redesigned turret mm -hmm. uh, it's a dark tan dark green dark brown camo scheme and we actually had a, a die cast model that Dan had yeah it was uh, a pretty hefty model it was 135th scale mm -hmm. so I was I used that to make my modifications to and it's a pretty close size yeah uh, I, I shortened up the hull by a brick I thought it was a little bit long from Dan's previous model. But otherwise, internally, it's really similar. You can fit two guys inside the hull. There's engine details inside. Um, and we updated it with some brick arms, a new brick arms barrel, the 76 millimeter barrel. The real tank had an 88 uh, anti-tank gun. And, but we just used this barrel because it's a similar size, as well as a brick arms panther muzzle brake. Very similar, yeah. So it's also similar to the ones that we 3D printed in the past, mm -hmm. but I figured we could just use a brick arm. I didn't know it existed um, when I started my design, and then I realized, oh, we actually had these in-house. So I threw that on there. Very nice. <laughs> and we have some cool transparent stickers. Yes. Um, some nice transparent stickers right here across the tur turret, and that's both left and right. Um, what other stickers did we have? We have a few more. Know. Yes, um, the so drive some, wheel some and new, the idler. Yeah, some new artwork for the drive wheel on the front here, and then the idler on the back wheel here. Um, so those are just close, as close as I can get to approximations of what mm -hmm. the historical one looked like, along with um, new artwork for um, the wheels as well. Mm -hmm. So cool. kind of got that simulated. There's like an armor, big thick armor plate. It looks like that they have bolted to the side of the wheel. So yeah. Cool, cool. Yeah, it is. It's a really interesting wheel we were looking at, it. and they actually had these in Bobbington mm -hmm. when we were there. They had the the version with the Porsche turret as well. So this is a uh, Henschel. 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 I forget which. What was the word again? <laughs> so there were two companies competing for it, and <laughs> that one got the ticket. Ah. So, but they, they did have a, a variant with a more curvy, sloped turret hull or a turret turret hull turret. Um, 
Aside something. from that, some additional printing. Yes. If you want to go over what's on top there. Yep, some hatch artwork on the top of the turret. Um, and that, that, that model, that, that die cast model that uh, Dan had mm -hmm. was actually really helpful. Um, yeah. Just kind of cross-referencing that with historical photos, because sometimes photos, you know, just tough angles, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So it was nice having a, a good detailed model. Um, and then you have the exhaust vents and intakes. Um, so that's some, some new artwork for that as well. So it's, it's, it's pretty simple artwork, actually, and it works yeah. across some different colors, actually. Mm -hmm. um, that's, some, that's something I've really been um, exploring with in custom, in custom printed elements, uh, is making artwork um, easy to print across multiple different kinds of pieces. It eliminates the need for some color matching. Mm -hmm. um, that's just some back-end stuff, but it is, yeah. I mean, for me, it's kind of interesting kind of it's geeking really out cool. about colors. It, it looks a lot better in person. I don't know how well the camera can pick up, but there's you see the underlying grate on top mm -hmm. of the mesh, or underneath the mesh that we've printed on top. So some cool shadowing going on yeah. there. Uh, I can pull the turret off. Ooh, do it. So we can see the inside. This is just kind of a fun play feature on its own. Yeah. yeah you can. Uh, and there's so some other printed elements mm -hmm. there on the engine cooling system, as well as a brick-built engine in there. Again, that's just coming straight from what Dan had done previously. I figured, why reinvent the wheel? <laughs> of course, <laughs> it was a great design to start with. Uh, two room for the two crew in the front as well. Yep, there's room for two crew members. They each have a seat inside. Nice little backrest. So you can have the driver, and then you can have the assistant driver, who would also man an MG34 as the hull gun. Um, so cool exhaust, dual exhaust out the back that I updated a little bit. I just included the pistol revolvers to, to illustrate the, the curve of the exhaust. Yeah, it's a close approximation, so that's yeah. cool. It's a nice use of that. Yeah, it's, it's a satisfying connection. Mm -hmm. So you'll see. <laughs> you'll see. Uh, uh, you want to go with that fig? Yes. Okay, cool. Um, so, Cody, you liked the Tiger, uh, or the, uh, what was it called? Yeah, Tiger Crew Pack. Mm -hmm. um, and so we have the torso and legs straight from that Tiger crew pack, um, making another appearance here in this kit with that really nice um, oak leaf fall variant camo there, um, which looks really sharp with uh, the um, Panzer Wrap um, jacket, uh, along with our own in-house uh, custom 3D printed uh, soft cap um, with the insignia printed right on the top there. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a... It's a slick looking figure. There's some subtle shadow details going on on the uh, Panzer wrap. Um, but again, just trying to capture um, crew from that era. And what's cool about 3D printing a hat like that is you get that automatic texture. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's different it's, from Lego, so mm -hmm. it's not shiny. Mm -hmm. That's what that is. Um, you know, sometimes that's a limitation for 3D printed parts. Um, mm -hmm. You know, if we're trying to replicate the look for Lego, but in this case, I think using it on soft caps kind of has a bit softer look to it. So yeah, I kind of like it. Looks like cloth yeah yeah because <laughs> I've cool seen some other uh, other aftermarket soft caps out there and they are really really shiny mm -hmm. um, I like that they're ABS but at the same time they're really shiny so we're uh, maybe uh, playing around with some stuff here so cool yeah Pretty anything cool. else you want to go over on this I don't think so elevating depressing gun Oh, it's also nice. it's also a fun connection for that gun yeah <laughs> so there's a part that I've just been drooling over since it came out and <laughs> I just avoided using it because of how expensive and rare it was, but got it in this one. So. Yeah, when you when you open that up, then it's a uh, it's like oh that's the perfect part for that. Oh, so you'll perfect. have to see that. So <laughs> you can you can see, if you get your own copy, you can see that uh, still available in the stores again. Sold out online. Go to the stores if you want a copy. Um, with that, yeah, that's the Tiger too. Um, oh, do we want to mention that? That mention one's it. coming up. So spring off. This of is the just kind of cool too. to compare this color scheme, these, these two models. You know, keep in mind, this is just a prototype. Yes. Of the Yegged Tiger. Yegged awesome. Tiger. So you can just see right off the bat the, uh, the same hull going on here. And, and that's how it was historically. Yeah. It's, just, it's just a slightly lengthened hull um, used on this, but it's, it's turretless. It has a casemate with a very large gun. It's a 128 millimeter gun. Um, keep in mind, this is a prototype. Bar barrel colors, color camouflage, things will change. Yes, but we thought we'd show it off quick here at the end of the episode. <laughs> so yes, that'll be coming out um, soon. So soon. stay tuned. Stay tuned. Okay, cool. Uh, that's the review of uh, the Tiger Two, designed by Cody Osell. For more information, please check out BrickMania.com. Thank you for watching.